So using the sum and difference identities, if we're given trig, val trig functions of different angles, without having to find the actual angles, we can find any trig function of a sum or difference of those angles if we need to. So looking at this first example here, so let's say we're given that sine of theta is 4 fifths and sine of beta is 21 29 so we'll assume that they're both in quadrant 1. We want to find the sine of the sum of the two angles. We want to find the cosine of the difference between the two angles. So the first thing I like to do whenever I'm asked to do this problem, it, this kind of problem, is first remember what the identity for sine of alpha plus beta is. You know, how can I use this given information to answer this question? And we know that sine of alpha plus beta is the sine of the first angle times the cosine of the second angle plus the sine of the second angle times the cosine of the first angle. And what we realize is that we are given sine of alpha and sine of beta. So we know that our answer is going to be 4 fifths times something plus 21 29ths times something. So what are the somethings? Well, we have a couple roads we can take here. We could use identities to figure out what the cosines are because that's essentially what we need. Or we can go back to basics, use the right triangle. So assuming that these are both quadru or quadrant one, which I did say at the beginning here, we have two angles, so we need two axes. So sine of alpha is four fifths, so I know that the height is four and the hypotenuse is five. And Pythagorean theorem tells me that this side has to be three. And in the other angle, we know that sine of beta is 21, 29. So I'm going to say that looks something like this. So this is 21 and this is 29. Pythagorean theorem would tell us that this side is actually 20. So then what is the cosine of beta? Well, cosine of beta is 20 over 29. And sine of our cosine of alpha is three fifths. And we're just about there. Now we have a numerical answer for this problem. So we're just going to simplify it. So it looks like we have 80 over 29 times 5 is 145. 21 times 3 is 63. So it looks like 143 over 145. Ooh, pretty close to 1. Okay, so now applying the same idea to cosine of alpha minus beta, we use the identity for that, which is cosine alpha, cosine beta, plus sine alpha, sine beta. And now we have all four pieces because we found them in the first part. Cosine of alpha was 3 fifths. Cosine of beta was 20 over 29. Sine of alpha was actually given as 4 fifths, and sine of beta was given as 21 over 29. So there we are again. So simplifying again, we have 63 over 145 plus 84 over 145. I'm sorry, not 63, 60. And that gives us a grand total of 144 over 145. And there we have it. So that is how to use the given information to find the sine and cosine of a sum or difference, given some information. Naturally, we need to be given that information. So stay tuned for more. We're going to work more problems in the following video. So come on back. Thanks so much for watching.